Well, hello, welcome, 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 welcome. It's a fabulous, it's always fabulous, right? When it's Friday, it's a fabulous Facebook Live, Facebook Friday, for Lychee Friday, here we go. Oh my goodness, how is everybody doing today? Fall is here, right? The leaves are changing, many leaves have fallen. We're gonna be out raking all those leaves very soon, so. Yeah, hopefully everybody had a good week, right? Hello, it's funny, I see the little eyeball there. Oh, there's Marianne. <laughs> That's cute, hi for Lychee Friday. Thank you, Marianne, hello, welcome. How are you today? Hopefully you've had a good week, I was just saying. Um, yeah, make sure everybody that, you know, as you jump on, make sure you say hello so we can see who's with us and um, yeah, so we can say hi to everybody. Hi, Sandra, good morning, you're here, yay! It's a good morning, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, and a big, well, I don't even know what other football games are going on this weekend, but I consider it like kind of, I think it's kind of rival weekend, maybe, or one of them anyway. Good, I'm glad you're doing great, Marianne. So anyway, I'm sporting my Block M, my U of M, um, University of Michigan. If you're not from Michigan, U of M for me is University of Michigan. So U of M plays Michigan State tomorrow at noon. So I've already, I'm like getting all like psyched up for the big game. Um, tomorrow we're actually gonna go down to see some friends that let's see They both went to Michigan State and met. This is kind of cute. They met their very first day on Campus their freshman year at Michigan State University <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I've already got this little tickle in my throat. How does that happen? Hold on one sec. I gotta get a quick sip here Hmm yeah, I don't know. They're, that's probably going to plague me the whole time now. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Philomena. How are you guys? So, yeah. So, anyway, we're going down to see these friends that are Michigan State fans for sure because that's where they went to school, right? And that's where they met and fell in love on their very first day of their freshman year of college. I just think I forgot that it was like that soon. I was talking with her sister and she reminded me of that. So, I'm like, yeah, that's so sweet. Um, but anyway, their daughter goes to University of Michigan now. So I think they'll still be rooting for the Spartans, but it, it's kind of interesting now that Madeline, although I think she kind of, she grew up as a Michigan State fan, a Spartan fan too, so now she's in Ann Arbor. Maybe, I don't I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. We're gonna go visit her. So anyway, yeah, it's a fun, fun football weekend. And yeah, I'm just kind of excited to get out of town. Lily and I are gonna go do that, go visit with these friends. So, and she has a dance thing down in um, the Detroit area where they live. So that's another reason we're kind of wrapping it all together. So yeah, hopefully everybody has fun weekend plans too. I'm hoping to even hit like a cider mill, um, you know, apple orchard kind of a thing somewhere in our travels this weekend too, because that's the time of year, right? So I love that about Michigan in our area that we have. Um, those opportunities in the fall to go have some fun. So um, let's see what else is going on. I guess just a couple of quick reminders. Um, scrapbook class, it is always the last Tuesday of every month. So this month it's on Tuesday, October 30th. RSVPs for that class are due this weekend on Sunday. So let me know if you're interested. I want to make sure I have enough, um, especially the 12 by 12 cardstock. How we sell that now is kind of crazy. So I'm always worried that I won't have enough for everybody. So RSVP and let me know if you can make it to scrapbook class on the 30th and then I'll make sure I have everything I need for everybody. So, um, and then I thought I would just kind of do another quick reminder. Um, I'm not gonna go through in maybe in too much detail, but I just wanted to put a quick shout out there, I guess, to remind you about the frosted floral class to go that today is the last day to RSVP for that gorgeous class. So it features, I'm gonna do this kind of backwards, but it's the first frost stamp set and the frosted bouquet framelits, right? You can pick option number one, includes the stamp set and the framelits and the um, frosted and clear epoxy shapes, which I could not find. I have um, kind of a leftover pack. They are stuck in somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't find them, but they're on a bunch of the cards. So you get a full pack of those too, because you're gonna use them on a bunch of cards. I'm gonna show you the cards real quick too. So this is one of the cards that you would make, and you would make two of each of these cards. This is another, um, I love the colors in that paper, the designer series paper. It features a whole bunch of that um, frosted floral designer series paper. And then here's the last one with that fun. I love these. I mean, those are kind of like super popular right now, those fun folds. So anyway, option number one includes the stamp set, the framelits, um, all four cards, two of each of them, so eight total, plus the clear and frosted epoxy 
droplets, I guess they're called, and then I'm throwing in a bolt of the gold um, cord because we use that on the cards as well. That option number one is $79. Thank you, Marianne. I appreciate that. I, You know what? I mean, really, <laughs> it's easy to make beautiful things when Stampin' Up! makes such beautiful stamps and the coordinating framelits and then those sh shimmery, frosty paper. I love that also. And I see Beth ju jumped on while I was talking. So good morning, Beth. How are you? Um, okay, so that's, plus you always get the PDF tutorial, right? So that, I think I said, was option number one was $79. Option number two basically includes all of that, but not the framelits. Maybe you don't want these framelits. Um, we do all your die cutting, embossing, like all of that for you. So you get all the parts and pieces. You just have to do your own stamping. So you need the stamp set for sure. So option number two is $47. That's the stamp set, all four cards, two of each of them, and the PDF tutorial, and the frosted and clear epoxy droplets. Then option number three, you already have the stamp set and or the framelits. Make sure you have the stamp set though, because that's is not included in option number three. It's basically just the um, frosted and clear epoxy droplets. I'm having a hard time remembering that name. <laughs> no stamp set or framelits, like I said. And then all four cards, two of each of them, plus the PDF tutorial. That option number three is $29. Then option number four is just the PDF tutorial. You can get that anytime you want, even after the, after the RSVP deadline has passed. That option is always $15. So if you want it two years from now, you can still get it two years from now. And then option number five is for anybody in my downline, the Inspired Stampers group, you can get the make and take supplies for all eight, so four cards, two of each of them, at cost, basically. It's $12. You get your own stamp set through your own demo ID so you can get your discount. Um, and then like I said, RSVP is today. Today is the last day for that class to go. And expected shipping date of all the kits is October 31. So I'll have those in the mail on Halloween. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. I'll include the link again. Um, you can uh, pay right through uh, PayPal. So it's super simple. Um, or if you want to send a check, whatever you want to do. I'm good. I'm easy. Um, or I can take credit cards too. So whatever you want to do. Um, okay, let's see. My hair is tickling my neck. I got to get it. <laughs> It's at that funny length where it's always like tickling my neck, I think. Um, okay, hey, let's draw. You wanna draw? Thank you, Marianne, for the share. I appreciate that. So yeah, make sure you share the whole the whole time that we're watching. I love for you to share this video because that way other people can maybe catch it live too. Hey, Nikki, good morning, how are you? I love to see all these familiar names and faces on here. So thank you guys for joining me again. It, it makes me feel so good that you're that you guys remember every single week to come hang out with me Friday at 11.30. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so as a little, um, hi Joyce, oh my gosh, yay, everybody's on today. I love it, I love it. I hope you're doing well, Joyce. I've been thinking about you. It, you, it's it's funny, um, I, wish, I wish you could feel it or know it, like every time I think about you, because I just, hopefully everything's going well for you, okay? So yeah, you're, you're right here. I'm so glad you found us too. And Philomena, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, okay, so let's do our first drawing. This is for the Santa's workshop, those super cute little enamel shapes. So the Christmas trees, and it's hard to see the little snowflakes there in that right light. Um, upside down bows, and then the little um, red, green, and white dots in a couple of different sizes. So um, let's do that drawing, right? So I've got a bunch of names in here. And if you are not already signed up for my email list, that is another way that you can um, get your name in this drawing right here is if you sign up for my email list. I will include the link um, here in the comments. And then I also do a blog post. Um, it uploads uh, on Saturday, basically, with all of our information here. So there's a link right there, too, that you can sign up for my email list. Um, so yeah, make sure you do that if you have not already, and then you always stay updated on everything, and then you get three entries in this drawing, right? You guys know this, right? You get one entry for commenting, every single comment from now until next Thursday, and then three entries if you share the video. Just make sure you make a little, uh, a little comment about when you share. And I love, I just so appreciate your shares. Um, you know, the more people I have on here, like the more fun we can have. It just gets like, I don't know what it is, like it's like invigorating to know that like more people are watching. So I'm super excited for today. We've got a good group. Okay, so here we go. First drawing is, let's see, I'm getting them all tossed up. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta make sure, just one in my hand. Okay, just one. 
Hey, Wendy Drowley. Congratulations. Wendy is one of our Inkspired Stampers. So she will receive the super cute Santa's Workshop Elements. So Wendy, I will have these down for you at the studio, okay? You can pick those up. All right, let me get those out of there. I gotta dump those out and be ready for the next drawing. But you guys wanna see, thank you, Wendy, for the share. I appreciate that. Um, let me make sure. Yep, okay, so this week, oh my gosh, I love, there's gonna be kind of a common theme here, this whole Santa's workshop. If you haven't fallen in love with it yet, I think by the end of Facebook Live, you will have fallen in love with that whole suite of products. And I will tell you, so <clears throat> we're not using, there's um, the Memories and More card pack that you can use to make super cute, simple, quick, easy holiday cards that had been on back order for a while. That is available now. And I think the Santa's Workshop, that designer series paper that has that little, the fuzzy, the flocking on it, I think it's still on back order, but it's gonna be in like at the end of this month. So I'm, you know, basically I'm encouraging anybody that wants to order that paper, order it, because then your name's kind of in the queue in the back order so as soon as it comes in it'll ship out to you because if you wait to order it I, i'm not saying i'm sure they're going to have enough to satisfy everyone's needs um, but i just rather you know get your name in there earlier so when it comes in they'll be shipping it out to everybody so yeah but that's the awesome the santa's workshop designer series paper my point in telling you all this is this is the giveaway for this week this is the poppy parade it's that I, what is it called um, textured weave ribbon so it's got kind of that little white stitching on the edge and then that fun bright poppy parade bright red basically this is awesome ribbon you are gonna love 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 this ribbon and I'm gonna be showing you I'll show you I'm gonna tease you but I'll show you later a cute project that I'm actually gonna demonstrate um, that uses this ribbon so one entry for commenting three entries if you share the video and then another three entries if you have not signed up for my email list yet and you do that then I go through and I look at my reports to see who my new email subscribers are each week now and then your name will go in the drawing to win this ribbon so you could be the winner all right so that'll be next Friday. Um, okay, what else? Do, let's just keep on doing our drawings, you wanna? But I have the dry, it's like cotton mouth, it's the season now I think, so hold on one sec. I have this huge water bottle that I drink out of that everybody makes fun of me, so I'm like, you guys will probably never see me drinking out of it <laughs> without me meaning to. I mean, it's not really, it's not that funny, but I'm like a huge water drinker, so I have this Oh gosh, I'm looking at it. How many, is it 32 ounces? I have to drink at least two of those every single day. So <laughs> I love water. Um, okay, <clears throat> let me make sure, but I think that's where we're at. Yeah, okay, so do you guys remember? And I did have a request. So the Buffalo Check background stamp, oh my gosh, it is so cute. So I think Marianne, maybe it was you who asked me if I've demonstrated this yet on Facebook Live or not. And I have not, but I have a note. So as soon as I come up with the next project that uses this Buffalo Check background stamp, we will be doing this on Facebook Live. I don't, maybe it'll be next week. I haven't figured out what we're doing next week yet. So that is on my brain though, to do a demonstration, because this is so easy to use with your Stamparatus. If you haven't seen how easy these background stamps are to stamp with, with your Stamparatus, uh, I'll show you and it'll be awesome and Wendy I think you said you got yours last week maybe or so and that you you say you love it I agree I agree so this was what I was giving away if you put in an online order of at least $30 last week <laughs> Beth drinking water is very good for all of us yes so maybe that's my little um, plug right if you're not drinking enough water ladies make sure you you get your huge water bottle <laughs> and then you know right then you know that you've had enough water for the day um, but yeah, it's it makes you feel so good. It just really helps keep you cleansed. Although you have to pee a lot too. That's the only <laughs> that's the only downfall with all that water drinking. Um, but okay, so I am going to draw now. I dumped all the names out from the other drawing, and I've got names in here for online order for last week. Um, those people also get the projects that I demonstrated on last week's Facebook Live too. So okay, not quite as many names in here to shake around. But let me make sure I just have one. And it goes to, oh, Miss 
Leah Patton. So Sandra, you'll have to let Leah know she won. <laughs> this is the Buffalo Check background stamp. So Leah, I will be sending this out to you shortly. So congratulations and thank you, all of you, for your online orders last week. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Would you guys want to know what we're going to give away this week? Oh my gosh. We have been having so much fun. <laughs> That's good. She doesn't have it. That's awesome. And then you get to borrow it. Perfect. That works out really well, Sandra. Yeah, so I'm sure you'll be chatting with her. So thank you. Let her know. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so this week, if you put in an online order, just $30, minimum $30, use the host code that I'll give you when we flip the camera down. It's also, that host code is always at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you ever forget it, just pop over there and you can grab it. It's on that right-hand side toolbar that says use this host code. Basically, it's like one of the very top things right there. Oh, you're so funny. You've got your phone in your hand. <laughs> that is awesome. Very cool. Thank you. I appreciate you keeping her updated too, Sandra. Um, okay, so this week... I. Did I stop like right in the middle? I don't know. I can't. Hopefully I was finished with that last thought because it's so far gone now. But this week, that's what I was trying to say, right? If you put in the online order, use the host code, $30 minimum. You're going to get the projects I demonstrate and your name goes in the drawing to win this awesome. Maybe you guys all already have this. It's been super popular. Hopefully I'll find someone that doesn't have it. But the tin tile dynamic textured impressions embossing folder and it is so cool i show you guys a project last week and i should have had that out here but i don't i don't know if we're using it at all today but i think you guys have probably all seen awesome projects with this that galvanized metallic paper works really well yeah you can't even really see it but it's just oh it creates such a cool kind of vintage shabby chic look so some awesome uh, lucky person is going to win that, st or, um, that, not stamp set, not framelit set, but the embossing folder with an online order. I'll draw for that next week, okay? Um, let's see. All right. I think, so I have more to show you guys, but I, want, I don't want it to be backwards. So I did a little investigating too, just so you all, ooh, that's weird, the lighting in here. Um. I figured out how I can, like, before I start Facebook Live, there's a setting button that you can kind of flip everything around. So, like, everything behind me would be, like, kind of opposite, which is fine, because then when I show you projects, they wouldn't be backwards when I do this. But the problem is when I move my phone, like I'm going to, in a minute, then everything down on my table would be backwards, because there's no way to flip those settings, I don't think. I'm not seeing anything as I'm live right here. There's no way to flip those settings so that it wouldn't be backwards down on the table. And I that's why I tried to just show you a little bit right now. It might be backwards. Hopefully it's not really awful. And then everything else, you know, when I demonstrate that, we don't want to have backwards. So in case anybody's wondering why I haven't flipped it. It's just how my setup is. If I ever figure out anything different, maybe it'll change. But for now, that's what we're doing. So, okay, let me... I'm going to move that out, maybe right there. Okay, so turn your heads away for a second. We're going to flip the phone around so you guys can see what's going on down on the table now. Oh, good. That's awesome. Wendy, I think you're talking about the, oh, the tin tile probably embossing folder. Maybe you're talking about that you love that now too. I know. Everything's awesome. That's why we, that's why we're always so happy all the time, right? Because we're playing with all this cute stuff. Okay, here we go. Hoping I'm not hitting the volume. You guys are checking out the ceiling right now and my hair, okay. And there we go. Okay, so let's get that so it's kind of centered so I know where the center of things are, right? Okay, checking my notes. Oh, okay, so I have, this is what I wanted to show you guys actually. So um, you guys have heard about Paper Pumpkin, I'm sure some of you maybe are even subscribers but I have to show you. So this was the paper pumpkin kit that we received in September, right? Because we're, gosh, I probably have a kit out in my mailbox now that I'm thinking about it or just about because they ship on like the 10th of the month. So I have to go, I'm like, oh yeah, maybe it's out there. So anyway, this was the kit that we received in September. Now I do understand if you already are a subscriber, these kits are available. I'm not sure if they're the full kit or the refill kit. I'd have to check on that. But I think they're the full kit, actually. 
So if you're already a current paper, pump, paper pumpkin subscriber, you can always order refills or additional kits as they are available. If you're not a current paper pumpkin subscriber, if you subscribe, then you would be a current paper pumpkin subscriber and then you could get this kit too in addition to all the other fabulous kits that are coming. You always have to make sure that you sign up by the um, 10th of the month. Oh, and Nikki, thank you, awesome, both. So the full kit and the refill kit are available. So let me show you, because I think you guys need to understand how cute this like Halloween treat theme was. So I put together pretty much everything that was in here, so you're not gonna see a lot, I guess I would say. Okay, let me see if I can get that. Are you guys gonna be able to see? When I put that up, then it, mm, all right, I think we'll be okay. But so these are the projects. So they always send you, this little pamphlet that tells you that it contains supplies for 24 cellophane treat bags. And then, oops, that's not really very um, centered, is it? Okay, so here we go. So these are the projects. So you make eight of each of these. And then in here, it kind of gives you a step-by-step -step how to put things together. Now, if you are more of a visual learner, you might even wanna watch the YouTube video that they make every single month that, that shows you how they put um, the kits together. So either way, you've got a couple of different options um, to kind of help you get things put together. Now, what actually comes inside? Actually, let me have to move that over there. Okay, so one of the best things is you always get a stamp set. Like every single month, you get a stamp set. So there's the cute stamp that says, this one says spooky. You can read that, I'm gonna try to get super close um, and hold it like this so you guys can kind of see. This one says Frights and Delights. This one says It's Halloween. I have to look at that one. Oh, there's like a to and a from. That one's upside down, so it's really hard to see. You've got the little pumpkin and the flying bat. Ooh, some icky spiders, lots of spiders. Another bat. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of having that in the camera, am I? Boo, that one's pretty cute. There's a moon and eek. And then, so this obviously you're gonna use on the projects that you make, but then you always have this stamp set left over that you can use for lots of other, you know, for Halloween years to come. And they've got some super cute sentiments and um, kind of um, images in there. And then they always send you one of these little stampin' spots. This month it was our basic gray. Now they have always said that they will not repeat a color within like 12 months. So you're gonna, you know that you're always gonna get a nice variety of ink pad colors. And these have a lot more ink. I mean, they're tiny, right? You think, oh my gosh, how, how long is that gonna last? When I first started way back, like 10 years ago, they had all of these available in all of our color collections. And that's what I started with were these little baby ink spots. Plus, I have learned that they are great when you are inking up stamps using your stamp apparatus because you don't have that huge ink pad to be like tapping all over. You just take this little thing, you know, especially on a little stamp. If you can imagine even this spooky on your stamp apparatus, then you just take this little thing and kind of ink it up right along there so you don't get ink everywhere else on your stamp apparatus. So those are awesome. So those are things, you know, not consumable, right? So those will always be available. And then, okay, what else? Do they always give you some... Um, well, not always, but if you need, so if they need you to pop things up with dimensionals, they give you a little pack of dimensionals. These are glue dots. I used a ton of them. Look like half the sheet is gone on these projects, right? So they give you some adhesive. They don't give you snail, um, which, you know, that makes sense. So, um, and then here are the other, so kind of some bits and pieces that are left from my projects. So these are actually adhesive bags. So that eek is sticky and those just pop right up so you don't have to die cut anything. And then we have the spooky ones as well. And then these were not adhesive back. So this just pops up out of here, that little um, uh, pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. And then, oh, this was cool. So these, like this little silver piece, that fit behind there. So then he's kind of like silvery sparkly. So you just adhered those, right? And then what else? Oh, then we had some little, the cute bat, or not bats, but um, ghosts, right? The cute little ghost. And then, oh, I've got one bat left. So you always end up with some extra stuff too that you can play with, you know, use for maybe make a card or there are always lots of ideas too. Um, alternate ideas that, you know, so if you get the kit and you're like, I don't know if I need to make treat bags, there will always be ideas using all of these projects alternate like maybe you want to make cards or you want to do kind of a different layout or something um so just if you go to um 
I'm trying to think of where the best resource is. Probably Paper Pumpkin Facebook page or Pinterest page. People post alternate Paper Pumpkin ideas there all the time. So, or if you just have leftover pieces and want to do something with your leftovers, right? Um, and then the last thing, they gave us some of this awesome baker's twine. It's like a black and silver baker's twine. And I used a ton of this. Like this was a really good size bolt of uh, baker's twine and I used a bunch of it. So now I have to show you guys the actual projects, right? All right, let me just scoot this stuff out of the way. Oops. Okay, so... <clears throat> Here is one, you guys maybe have seen these or maybe you even have paper pumpkin if you've made them, right? So I had to, <laughs> yes, I love the little twines too. There's always, it's fun because there's always a little bit left over um, so that you can you know, use them on other fun projects. So, okay, so these are the little bags. Can you see that this one has, oops, the lighting, there we go. They've got like little spider webs, little cobwebs. And then they gave you to put in the bottom of your bag. Here, let me see if I can do it like that. They gave you a little cardboard piece so that it would kind of create like a flat bottom, you know, so you could set it down like that. And one of my favorite candies this time of year especially is candy corn, which I know most people cannot stand these things. I have a huge sweet tooth, ladies, so <laughs> these are not too sweet for me. My sister can eat like one or maybe one with a peanut and <laughs> she's good, but not me. I can eat handfuls of them. <laughs> it's not good this time of year. Uh, but so cute little, um, the little ghost and the spooky, and then we stamp that treats for you on that cute little tag. And then this is just adhered kind of on the front and back with glue dots, and this guy's popped up on dimensionals, and then you tie a little um, twine bow right there. So, and you can put whatever you want inside your treat bags, right? So there's that one. And then here is another one with that cute little Halloween jack-o'-lantern. More of the twine. It says, it's Halloween, eek. And that just sticks right on there. This one has, uh, those are spiders. Good Lord, I keep, there's some, my phone is off a little bit. So I want to be over here and that's, that's not helping you guys at all. I'm like too interested in the project that I'm not looking <laughs> in the camera to see what you guys are seeing. But those are little spiders, teeny tiny little spiders on that package with of course some more um, of my favorite treat, right? And then here is the last one. So I, I varied it a little bit. This one I put a couple of those little Snickers bars in there with the bat and it says boo frights and delights and they had and then this one i loved um because i didn't think the candy corn would show up very well in in these it shows up better because it's clear with black um designs but this one has um kind of orange um stripes diagonal stripes on them so i thought the darker candy would look a little bit better in there Ooh, and joyce yes you could put popcorn in them that's true Ooh, that would be super yummy and how fun you know, maybe if you don't get lots of trick-or-treaters or maybe, you know, your most special favorite trick-or-treaters, <laughs> you could give them these little packages. I mean, how kids would just, they would love, I mean, anybody would love getting these, right? You could put them on a coworker's desk, like at work. Um, yeah, put them in a, one of your kids' lunch pa lunch boxes. Um, lots of ideas kind of to brighten people's day, especially this time of year with Halloween. Lots of cute treat ideas out there. So I just had to show you guys those. And then like I said, if you are not a current Paper Pumpkin subscriber, if you subscribe, Nikki's saying both the full kit. So full kit means the stamp set in the ink spot and then all the parts and pieces. The refill kit means no stamp set or ink spot because they think, okay, you've probably already gotten a full kit. So you just want more of the extra you know, the parts and pieces to make more of the cute bags. And those are priced accordingly. You don't pay as much for that refill kit. But yeah, and then um, also I'm sure in November and maybe even in October, like I said, there's probably a cute box right out in my mailbox right now, um, but they're gonna be doing holiday kind of projects, I'm sure. We never know, it's always a surprise, but I saw kind of the outside pretty red and white and green plaid, I think it was, on the outside of the box. So if you're not a subscriber, if you go to paperpumpkin.com and um, subscribe, just make sure if you don't mind to select me as your demonstrator because then I get credit for your paper pumpkin purchase, which I would really appreciate. Um, yeah, and let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to, and I'm happy to help get you signed up too. If it's something, you know, you don't want to do it on your own, I can take your info and do it for you. That's no big deal. So, okay, let's see. I gotta just check my notes. 
but I think, oh my gosh, guys, guess what? We are ready to do our stamping. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to do your stamping? Okay, let's do it. I have a couple of projects to show you today, so I wanted to make sure I had enough time to show you everything. Okay, so that is centered right about there. Oh, here's the host code too. UCQEVD29. Like I said, if you're new, especially if you're new and haven't been watching Facebook Live yet, so that you understand, if you put at least a $30 online order in by next Wednesday, you receive the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate next, and your name goes in the drawing to win, where did I put that? The tin tile embossing folder, right? Just make sure you use the host code. And if you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment from me. So you can get lots of awesome stuff in your thank you package if you were to win the tin tile embossing folder. And if you bump it up to 50, then you always get an embellishment plus the project. So lots and lots of good stuff in uh, those thank you packages. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna scoot this up out of the way a little bit. Um, which one do we want to play with first? So many cute. Actually, I'm going to show you. So these are all of the make and takes that we made this week. Um, we had our Inkspired Stampers group gathering. So anybody in my downline um, can come to the Inkspired Stampers group gathering. And these are the make and takes that we made um, this month. We It featured a bunch of the... Um, the Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper, and then actually other stamp sets too. We use the framelits to cut out some things. I'll show you everything. But this one may look familiar. A couple of weeks ago I demonstrated, um, let's see if I can even, you guys remember, this is, it's called the diaper fold technique, and you don't even need adhesive, right? So you started with that six by six piece of Designer Series paper, fold it in half, right? and then fold one corner in and the other corner in, and then flip your flap, flip your flap down. <laughs> Put a cute little um, sign or embellishment or something on it and then poke a hole in the bottom, which I didn't do a really good job on that one, but you don't even really notice because you're checking everything else out. The fun baker's twine on here too. And this one says, you sweeten my day. I think that's it's the cutest little stamp that fits perfectly in that little punch. This punch, I'm drawing a blank on the name. It's a label punch from the annual catalog that is in that tin. You know that cute tin, I can't even think, I think it's maybe like blue, blue and gold floral. So you get the tin, you get this shape punch, and then you get a stamp set and an ink spot. I showed you guys that, I'm trying to remember, I know we did a card, that, like a hello card a while ago that uses that punch and then that hello stamp in there. Oh, Joyce, you're saying candy corn mixed with popcorn. That's a good one too. Oh yeah, then I could probably even eat more because <laughs> it's not just sweet, it's sweet and salty. That might be a really bad idea for me. You could probably do that, Joyce. I don't have much <laughs> self-control when it comes to those sweets. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but thank you, that's a good idea. I'm, I'm gonna have to try that. So, okay, so anyway, this is one of those make and takes that we made. So you guys have already seen that one demonstrated, so I'm not gonna show you that again because it's so simple. If you're not sure, just go back to the previous Facebook Live um, where I did, you'll see a picture if you go to gatheringinspiration.com. Do you guys know that too? I have to make sure. So I always tag all my blog posts on, if you go to gatheringinspiration.com, on that right-hand side toolbar, there's a bunch of kind of, um, I think they're called tags. Um, but there's like a huge list of like names. So if you ever want to see like previous Facebook Lives, just scroll down to where it says Facebook Friday or Facebook Live. And if you click on that, it pulls up every single blog post related to uh, Facebook Live. And then you can always see all the pictures that um, of the projects that I demonstrated. And then there's a link there to the YouTube video if you want to see just how to make one of the projects. And I haven't varied from this yet. Always the demonstrations, like if you don't want to listen to you know, all that we talked about throughout Facebook Live. If you go to the end of the Facebook Live video, you're gonna see the demonstrations. So that's true. Like I said, I haven't changed that up. That's how I've been doing it since I started Facebook Live videos. So that might be helpful too. Yes, oh, Nikki, you are like my resource. You're like my librarian resource gal. Thank you. The Darling Label Punch. I think you're right. Yep, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I love your help with that stuff because I'm not gonna run and grab my catalog and flip through it right now. So thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so there's one. 
I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so what do we want to do next? Let's see. I, you, if you could see this huge pile of stuff that I have. Let's start. This one is pretty simple. Hold on one second. I need another sip of water. So I was trying to show everybody in my group too. We're trying to do craft fairs and things. Right now we're just make cute treats for people. So I love to be able to show simple treats that aren't super time consuming that, you know, if you wanted to make 20 of them, you could in, you know, not too much time. Um, like I said, especially if you wanted to do a craft fair or something, it's kind of fun to have like a whole slew of something. It, it, it kind of, it's fun to see a bunch of something like that. So this is another example of a cute treat um, holder that we made. So these are the two by eight cello bags. And then these are little Hershey nuggets that we wrapped with designer series paper. And then that cute tag that says, this is for you, exclamation point. And I have to show you guys, cause this is new for me. I hadn't gotten this yet. I'd seen so many cute projects done with it. This is the takeout treat. Yeah, we just used the stamp set actually on this one, but that's that stamp that says, this is for you. There are some cute little candy wrappers, that little clothesline, um, without some hearts, something sweet to eat, the little holly and berry. There's a thank you and enjoy exclamation point. Love you lots, yum. This is cute, less tricks, more treats. That's me right there. <laughs> some Christmas cheer for you. There's that, this is you, and then this Label. I know that there is a framelit. I haven't even used my framelits yet to make a takeout treat box. We're going to have to check that out. I'm going to make probably some cute treats, maybe holiday treats with that. But I know there's a label in there that looks like that shape too. So I'll be checking that out shortly. There's a star and then that cute kind of pattern. Oh my gosh, I hadn't realized that. It's like a pattern heart, but it says XOXOXO. Can you guys see that? A teeny tiny print. That's the pattern. Huh, cute, cute, cute. So that is the stamp set that I used right there. Okay, so let's make this little, and he's so simple. Oh, where are my Hershey Nuggets? Oh my gosh, those are stashed away, probably so I wouldn't eat them before <laughs> we did Facebook Live. So shoot, 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 I have all my other treats here, but hold on, give me one sec. Hi, Danielle, how are you? I'm demonstrating. <laughs> so things got, Danielle can attest to this, things got kind of crazy on Tuesday night. We talked for so long that we had uh, some time, is not, not as much time as I would have liked to put the make and takes together. So I figured everybody pretty much knows how to do these things, but I'm happy now to be able to demonstrate. So if anybody came to our group gathering on Tuesday and didn't make everything, because at that point a lot of people were like, we're just gonna stamp stuff and we'll take it home and put it together. Go grab your stuff and you can put it together while I'm doing it right now. Or you can watch later too. But I gotta, I have to have the Hershey Nuggets. So give me one sec and I'm gonna go grab those and I'll be right back. You know, every week or so that has to happen, right? I um, thought I had them in one spot and I didn't, so it took me a sec, but we are good to go. Okay, so these are just the Hershey Nuggets right here. I love these things. I like to get the ones with almonds in them because then they make me feel like I'm being a little bit healthier with that nut in there too, right? You can really talk yourself into about anything if you try hard enough. Okay, I am gonna use Fast Fuse. I would suggest either Fast Fuse or Tear and Tape for these little pieces of designer series paper because you want them to stick around there um, especially kind of wrapping the paper it tends to want to pop off of your project so these are just little and you so you can make a million of these it's just one inch wide by three inches long and i have four different pieces so we are just going to run our fast fuse and you can see how easy but how cute it makes these little nuggets now i get faster as i go but there's the first one with that super cute, I love. This is part of that Santa's Workshop designer series paper. We're gonna use this one right here. Actually, maybe I'll put my adhesive on all of these and then we'll have this ready to go, okay? All right, are you guys still using Fast Fuse? Does anybody have it? Still, I still have quite a stash. So I'm using it until it's done. 
Oh, thank you, Sandra. Have you seen those before? I love, this is like a kind of one of those, well, a lot of them really are an oldie but a goodie, but as soon as you put um, new paper on them, then they're new again, really. This is something that I received like a long, long, long time ago, these cute little nuggets wrapped. So that's all. We just did four little nuggets, and then these are the two by eight cello bags. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Sandra. I think it's pretty fun too. So you just kind of open this up. We're gonna slip, kind of alternating. You just pick your pattern. Oh, <laughs> your problem is that all your local friends don't eat candy. Oh gosh, that's so good for them. I wish I could say that. <laughs> you, Nikki, you got 10 refills. Yes, very nice of that fast fuse. Ah, uh, yes, I know, Danielle. I use it all the time too. Maybe they'll come back with something, right? Okay, let's see, let me grab, I think we are going to do next, we have our garden green, right? Yep, garden green and white baker's twine. So we are just gonna tie a bow. And I tied mine up a little bit higher so that I would have room to put my tag um, kind of above those nuggets. So let's just kind of keep that in mind because I didn't do it at first and I didn't like how it looked. So we're just gonna tie this up and that it's a little bit funny sometimes, doesn't it? It's amazing how much faster you can be doing these things when you're not doing it live. That is how it goes. Okay, let me grab my scissors, tie that off. Okay, I think we need that again too. So I'm gonna scoot that out of the way and then let's make our little tag. So you can see how simple these are to make. We are going to stamp our, I have them all jumbled together here. So we've got our, this is for you. And nope, I'm not using real red on this one. I'm gonna use Poppy Parade ink. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this right on here. So this is for you. We're gonna put that right on there. I love that. Oh my gosh, this is for you, exclamation point. So cute. And this one is the, I hope this is right. Isn't that funny? I'm like kind of trying to remember the sizes. Nope, okay, good. Good thing I didn't uh, punch that already. Okay, so these framelits, let's see which ones are we using. I can see this, yeah, so those are all big. We're not using any of those. So we are using, this is the second smallest um, straight edge is gonna go, whoops, on our This Is For You. We used, for the green piece, I used the one and a half inch circle punch. And then for the red scallop circle piece behind there, which you can just barely see, can't you? Right there. Um, it looks like that was that one, right? <laughs> Here I am flinging everything around. I gotta get those out of my hand. Yeah, that's that, right? Yep, okay. So that's the third smallest scallop edge, okay? Just so you know the sizes that we're using from our um, layering circle framelits. Okay, so let's get that. We do not need this or this any longer. Let me get my, actually let's do this punch right here. So with our one and a half inch circle punch, this is garden green cardstock. I'm gonna pop that up and out of there, okay? Now I'm like questioning. Yep, good, that's the same size. Okay, so that one's good there and then we're gonna die cut these with our big shot. So let's grab our big shot. And this is where Lily comes in handy. If I had to make a whole bunch of these, I would say, Lily, I think you owe me an hour or two on the big shot. <laughs> and she would just hop right up and say, sure, mom, what do you need? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so we've got our magnetic platform. And let's see, make sure that ridge goes down. And then one more right here. We gotta move that. The magnetic field is moving our framelit around a little bit. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Sandra says, super simple and very sweet, pun intended. <laughs> yes, very sweet, you're right. <laughs> yes, but they don't have to be. You could probably put like a little embellishment or something on there too if you need to add a little bit more bling or something. Um, but you don't have to, right? I think it's just so cute just the way it is with that paper, really. 
There's a lot of it. Okay, so we are going to put our little label. We've got our this is for you. We're gonna put that guy right on our circle. And then let me grab, I'm gonna grab a dimensional. We're just gonna put on that on the back of there. And then another one, we'll peel that off. Put that on here, right? You guys can see this. And then another one goes on there and then this will help it stick right on our little treat. And there we go. This is for you. <laughs> so yeah, super simple, very sweet, pun intended, this is for you treat. So I just love, I think it's really all about that designer series paper. And you see how I did that, right? This is Poppy Parade on this designer series paper in Garden Green. So I pulled my Poppy Parade in Garden Green cardstock and the Whisper White that's in there as well. So, and then the Garden Green Baker's Twine, of course, coordinates with it all. So that's why it's so simple and easy to make cute treats because everything coordinates. Um, you know what, while I'm thinking about it, because I meant to show you, let's see if we can see in here the um, Santa's Workshop Suite. Because this is one I thought it was so cute. It kind of, I was scared to like it too much at first, I guess. But okay, so here's the stamp set, the signs of Santa stamp set. Can I get that all in the view there? And then the framelits. And I love this because I actually didn't even get this stamp set. I just got the Santa signpost framelits because a bunch of those framelit images cut out, or the framelits cut out the images that are in our Santa's workshop designer series paper. So I'm just kind of going with that because sometimes like these are, they're awesome. And if you like to color, that's fabulous. But I wasn't sure I wanted to do a lot of coloring. Now I am missing maybe some of the sentiments, but I, I've been able to work around and find sentiments um, you know, from other things too. But I love, so the framelits that coordinate and cut out the elements or the, um, the um, images is what I'm looking for in the Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series paper. Those are those little Santa's Workshop enamel shapes that we gave away on Facebook Live today. And then that Poppy Parade one half inch textured weave ribbon, that's what we're gonna give away next week. The red rhinestones work really well, and then there's that garden green baker's twine. And then they always do, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. It's 12 by 12 cardstock. That's so funny. They normally do 8.5 by 11, and every once in a while they throw in. I'm going to have to remember that. So the 12 by 12 in garden green and poppy parade. I'm seeing scrapbook pages in our future with, <laughs> with that cardstock, because that I'm, you're going to get 24 sheets. 12 of each color so 12 garden green and 12 poppy parade very nice okay on my list now i did not have that oh very cool but you guys know that generally it's the eight and a half by 11 card stock that they would give you like three different colors um eight sheets of each that would coordinate with the designer series paper so that way you don't have to buy full packs of paper if you don't want to but you get a good um, supply of cardstock and then those cute santa's bags too i've got an idea of what i want to do with those i saw an awesome idea at creative convention that i went to last month so in the works oh you know always lots of things in the works right okay so we're going to scoot those out of the way let's show you i'm going to show you this other one it's all about the chocolate ladies it always always is so another sweet treat sandra <laughs> so this one uses the cute candy cane and then that glittered organdy ribbon that like I said, it's kind of in the Halloween suite, but I think you're going to have lots of fun. Can you see all the glitter in there? Um, at Christmas time, too. And then this is another sentiment from that takeout treats, the something sweet to eat. So let me show you another, just super duper simple. We used a um, just a regular size Hershey bar for this one. And... Then, and I use I wanted to use a different piece of designer series paper in that pack, but this is part of that Santa's workshop, those super cute little elves carrying their packages, right? Okay, so this one measures, let me make sure, yep, five and a half by five and a half, okay? So all we're gonna do is run a nice long strip of fast fuse on there, and then we're gonna move the cardstock in so you guys can see it, and then just kind of carefully fold it up on either side. Make sure it's straight. I'm going to crease it a little bit. Just I didn't even um, score it because I think it's easier just basically score it kind of around the candy bar. You can kind of use, you know, kind of like you're wrapping a present if you want to kind of 
press down a little bit. So step one, whoo, pretty difficult, huh? And then let's see, we also need, where is all my stuff? I feel, oh, here, I'm like, did Lily touch my stuff? She really wanted the next treat that I'm going <laughs> to demonstrate for you guys. So, of course, I had to blame her thinking she took something, but I had moved it. <laughs> it wasn't where it, it had been originally, but it's, it's all good now. Okay, so let's stamp our something sweet to eat. We've got our garden green ink. Um, I'm going to use that, aren't I? And... Let's see. Okay, so we need, this is, you guys, I showed this to you guys last week, right? I think the candy cane season stamp set with that cute candy cane punch or stamp and then the coordinating punch, right? Um, yep, okay, so we're gonna stamp. I used real red on this one because I couldn't use um, the same color all over the place or it gets too chaotic, you know, doing make and take. So we used real red. I think you can kind of fudge this and um, make it look like it's real red instead of poppy parade if you need to okay so either one real red or poppy parade on here i guess i could have done um poppy parade but my example was in real red and i don't want to confuse anybody so okay we're going to do our punch right there okay Oop. get a little bit of a bow out of that too okay so we're good with that one let me get these things out of the way and then let's do our stamping. This is in Garden Green ink with our stamp that says something sweet to eat, right? And I am going to, actually, you know what? Before I do that, did I bring my label? Nope, I think I just cut it. You can use either that banner triple punch or you can just use your snips. That's a little bit crooked. I think that's why I brought a longer strip in case I didn't like how that went. Okay, that's better. All right, so now, this guy out of the way, we're just gonna kinda trim off, maybe right about there, okay? And then this one, I'm gonna trim about there. And you guys have seen, so this is like the old fashioned way to make a banner, right? You just cut up through the middle, and then on each corner, you cut to that line that you cut in the center, right? Okay, so there's our something sweet to eat and our little candy cane. Now we need to die cut this um, stitched oval. We're gonna do that with our Big Shot again. Okay, bring that back. Is everybody doing okay? Hopefully so. All right, with our magnetic platform and we need our oval here. This is the second largest oval from the stitched shape framelits, okay? We're just gonna lay that on there and run this through our big shot, okay? And here we go. Now we can put our next cute little tag together. So as I've been saying, they don't have to be complicated or difficult. They just have to be cute, right? Okay, so we've got this piece we are going to use some of our little baby dimensionals on the back of our, what is that called? That's called a candy cane. Okay, where did I bring any? Oh, of course I didn't. I have like five packs of regular dimensionals and no babies. So, okay, when in doubt, just use the corners of your dimensionals. So we can use that one and that one, and then I'm going to cut one more. Okay, there. Those are old-fashioned mini dimensionals right there. <laughs> okay, peeling these guys off. We're gonna pop that guy right on there. Um, let's add, we are gonna use this with some fast fuse. So I'm gonna just put this right about there, maybe. And then I'm gonna use some dimensionals on the back of this guy too, okay? So we're gonna put these on and then we're gonna add our glittered organdy ribbon bow. So that goes there. Oh my gosh, I think I, I almost like this better because you can see more of the stripes, right? The stripes on the candy cane and the stripes on their boxes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love this paper. Okay, here's my ribbon. <laughs> I was kind of grabbing it as I was talking and then I'm like, where did I put it? Have you guys, can you see? 
try to show you guys this because this ribbon is so cool. The glitter organdy black ribbon. Okay, so we're just gonna tie a bow. Wrap this around here. This is kind of stiff, which is good, you know, to get it where you want, but sometimes it's a little bit futzier when you're trying to make a bow. But it'll stay when you bend it. It's almost got the, um, oh, it's almost like metal in the in the edges of it. I guess I would say, right? Okay, so there's that. Let me grab my ribbon scissors and then that one there. So now we just need a glue dot that I totally did not bring over. Um, so we're just gonna use a little bit of snail for now. A little strip of that. And then our ribbon goes right about there. I'm trying to kind of not cover up the something sweet to eat. But that is the idea. So look at how cute. And then, um, well, if you maybe didn't do this quite as tight, you could probably slip that candy bar. Oh yeah. You could almost slip the candy bar out and eat it and slip another one back in there if you really wanted to. <laughs> so something sweet to eat. How fun is that, right? Okay, and I have, so I have one more project I want to show you guys. I couldn't stop at uh, two today. Okay, so the last one. This one is actually, I cased this from Rhonda Wade. Um, she put these together and I, I just thought it was so cute. And this is the treat that I was talking about that Lily almost took. It's, um, what is this? It's a Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> Great treats for your mail carrier or paper deliverer. That's totally true. Oh, who does that little, yes, that is so sweet, Philomena. You could, oh my gosh. Can you just imagine you would really make somebody's day? So. UPS, that's another one for me because I get so many Stampin' Up! boxes. What a good idea. You could totally, yeah, I can see leaving any of these things out to say thank you to all of those people that are of service most every single day. Oh, and then look, okay, so here, this is some of that Poppy Parade, the ribbon that I'm going to give be giving away next week. Comments and shares and signing up for my email list will get your name in the drawing to win that poppy parade, that stitched weave ribbon, right? Okay, so let me show you how to make this treat right here. Um, we're gonna, we need our scoring plate. Do I have enough room? I have crowded myself in here. Let's see, we'll scoot that out of the way. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so here's the scoring plate. Okay, can you guys see? I wanna make sure you can see the corner there up in the top. Okay, so, this first piece, we start with, this is a piece of garden green cardstock that measures, it's two inches by 11 inches. And all you're gonna do is score it at five inches and then again at six inches, okay? That's all you need for that one. So I'm gonna scoot that down here. Then for our little belly band that goes around our tree, that little red and white polka dot piece, this one measures, it's two inches by six and a half inches, okay? And this one, let me see, yeah, okay. Um, I had one scored already and I wanted to make sure that wasn't the one that I grabbed. So you're gonna score it at a half an inch. I get my finger in there, right? Nice and easy on these scorings on the designer series paper because it's thinner. Then again, at one and a half inches and at three and a half inches and at four and a half inches, okay? So we are done with our scoring plate. We don't need that guy anymore, okay? We also are going to punch the ends of these pieces with our tag topper punch. So just slip that all the way in there on both ends, right? Okay, that's all for that guy. Scoot those things out of the way. Then, so this, you just fold up and it's gonna go together like that, right? And then this piece just wraps around. So you just have to find your score marks and kind of fold in your score marks, right? And then I am gonna put some fast fuse right along this piece right here, okay? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna wrap that around. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that. That's funny. I'm gonna do it right here like this. It'll be easier. Just lay that down right on there. It's too hard to try to get that wrapped all around here. So just lay that down and then kind of created that little box, right? And then this is gonna slip right over that, okay? It'll help when I have my Rice Krispie Treat 
Lily said, I'm going to eat that when I get home from school, okay, Mom? <laughs> yeah, that'll be fine because I'll be done with my demonstration by then. Okay, so that slips right in there like that. But of course, now we have to make a cute tag for this one too, right? So you guys can see what we're gonna do there. All right, so we are going to punch with our one and a half inch circle punch. This is some of that sparkle glimmer paper. You guys see, I think it used to be called Dazzling Diamonds, now they call it Sparkle, but it's super, not sure if I'm getting it in the right light. Super duper sparkly. Okay, so we've got that piece. Now we need to do a little bit of die cutting, but let's actually stamp first. So I've got this little half inch wide strip and my garden green ink and my little stamp that says Be Jolly. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp him right on there. That looks good. Okay, so we gotta keep these things where we know where they are, right? And now we need our big shot because we have a couple of things that we are gonna die cut here. We scoot him up out of the way just a little bit. Okay, so we've got our big shot back in here, right? And we have a piece of garden green cardstock. Actually, I'm gonna have to go this way, aren't I? Right? We have that same framelit, this gallop edge framelit. This was the third smallest. Oh, let's see, what's Marianne saying? Um, you're going to have to try again later. Oh, maybe you're having a problem with watching Facebook Live. I might have missed that, Marianne. I'm not sure what you're saying there. Then, ooh, okay, so check this out. This is, look at those cute little elves, right? So there's the little green and the red and the little Mrs. Claus, and then they've got the cute little wagon that they're pulling. So we are just going to die cut one of these little guys, okay? So I'm just going to lay this strip right on here. And this is what I was talking about, that the Santa's signpost framelits. So here's another example of this is Mrs. Claus right here. So you can die cut her right out of our designer series paper. So same idea. We've got both of those little elves. So there are two of them too because they are shaped differently. So one's for the red and one's for the green. And I think, which is for which? I think this one's for my red elf. Let's make sure he fits right around there. I think he's going to. Okay. Oops. I don't want to cut his little feet off because they're so cute with the little curly cues. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, this it's tiny, so you got to, and lots, very precise. I mean, you could cut these, but why not? If you have the framelits, you can just use the framelits to die cut them, right? Okay, so we're going to run this guy through here. Sorry for the wiggle. Okay, pop these things out. So we've got our circle scallop edge there and our cute little dude is there flocking yes there's flocking on oops you can't see that very well there on his little pointy hat and the little tassel can you hear it i'm really quiet maybe you can hear it <laughs> okay let's grab get the big shot out of the way and we will finish this little guy up okay boop boop boo here we go so we're just going to cut that off we're going to do the same thing on this one where so i cut into the center right like just a little bit and then from each corner and i angle into that little snip that i made in the middle and that's all we need so there's our little flag our be jolly right we are going to pop this little elf on a dimensional okay oops i think i might have gotten two of them there okay put him on that little shimmery piece and then we're going to actually use you know what this is cool so the old paper was really um oh like foily or glossy or something so adhesive didn't stick very well but now it's not like that so it works it's much easier to get adhesive on the back of that sparkly glimmer paper now okay so we're going to put a couple of dimensionals on this guy we are going to pop him right on there we're going to add some adhesive on the back of our be jolly well hi susie how are you hopefully you're having a good day okay put the be jolly right there now we just have to we're going to put a little bit of our poppy parade ribbon so you're just going to kind of put it in through the top of that tag topper punch that we did oops Okay, there we go, Mr. Ribbon. I think we're good there. All right, let's make those edges pretty, right? So we're just gonna 
Let me make sure I have that well enough. Cut those, I always like to kind of cut them at an angle. And then with our Garden Green Baker's twine, we're just gonna tie a bow right around our ribbon. And that will be our last cute treat. And I do have to tell you, Rice Krispie treats are much less expensive than chocolate is. So <laughs> depending on how many of these things you're gonna make, maybe you wanna do these Rice Krispie treats. Um, you get a little more bang for your buck. I would say for sure. Okay, so there is our last little tree. Isn't he so cute? Oh my goodness, these sweet little elves running through the day helping Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, it'll be here before we know it, won't it, ladies? So, okay, quick recap. I'm like, whoo, man, as always, if you could see the table, ladies, thank goodness you can't. Okay, so here we go. Make sure if you are interested in getting these projects that I demonstrated. So I won't be able to send all the treats, but you can go get those. I'll send you all, I'll send you all three. So that one, that one, and where'd the other guy go? This one right here, okay? So you'll get all three of these with your online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday. You're gonna get these projects that I demonstrated, right? And then your name goes in the drawing to win the, here we go, the tin tile embossing folder, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get all of the make and takes, chance to win that um, embossing folder, and you get a free embellishment too. Make sure to use that host code, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these cute projects. Hopefully you're inspired to go out and make some fun little treats and hand them out. I think that's the fun of this time of year. You know, we're always making all these these cute things, but now's the time of year when we can actually spread the love and share them with everybody. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great Friday, a great weekend, and I'm gonna end with go blue. I hope Michigan wins. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry all my Spartan friend fans, but hopefully Michigan wins tomorrow. So have a great weekend. Bye everybody.